You're watching BBN Tonight on your official UK sports station, LEX 18. Welcome back to BBN Tonight. We continue our tribute to UK offensive line coach John Schlarman, whose battle with cancer ended this morning. Yeah, Keith, we got a chance to catch up with two uh, former UK legends who were also teammates of Schlarman's. Here's our conversation with Tim Couch and Craig Yeast. Well, joining us now, a couple of guys who certainly benefited from the play of John Schlarman, former teammates and quarterback Tim Couch and wide receiver Craig Yeast. And Craig, I want to start with you because you said something really interesting before we began. You said you told me and Mary Jo, put a smile on your face. Yeah, you know, uh, I just kind of, the, the John Schlarman I knew uh, always had a smile on his face, you know. So uh, when we got on here, even though this is, you know, uh, a sad day, so to speak. It's still a great day. You know, it's a great day to be alive. And and I know that the John Slarman that I know, I know his wife and his kids are gonna be well taken care of. And and everyone that he's that has been in his life up until this point, uh, they're gonna benefit from knowing John Slarman. So smile, it's a great day. Tim, I, I, you played with John, as did Craig, so it was probably no surprise to either of you how he, tough he was in this battle against cancer because you saw how tough he was 20 years ago. Oh, absolutely. It was no surprise to me at all. Uh, John lived his life the way he played football, tough as nails, uh, relentless. Uh, just one of those guys that uh, was really the perfect teammate. You know, he's everything you wanted in a teammate. He was trustworthy, dedicated, hardworking, loyal. Um, and that's the way he worked his job. That's the way he lived his life. A great family man, a uh, great husband, a great father. Uh, he impacted so many lives, like Craig said. All those kids that have come through the, the University of Kentucky's program since John has been there, he's influenced their lives just as he did us as teammates years ago. Tim, was there a, a particular story, and then Craig, you could follow up as well, something that just really, when you think about him, there's this particular story that sticks out for you? You know, I can't think of any particular story like on the field or anything. I just remember John being one of those guys that would, you know, if you went, if you got in a street fight, you wanted John on your side, 100%. <laughs> I mean, he was a little bit undersized to be a right guard in the SEC, but he made, he was an all SEC performer because of his toughness and just his grit, you know, that he played with. And he went up against, went up against some beasts, you know, some guys from Georgia, some guys from Tennessee, Florida, that had some just absolute animals on those defensive lines. And John held his own each and every week with those guys. And, uh, you know, that's really what I remember when I think of John is just just that guy who he was relentless it didn't matter who was across from him he was going to do his job and do it right every single time you could count on him not to make mistakes and he was just that trustworthy teammate that uh, you know certainly as a quarterback that I'd love to have you know I agree with exactly everything that Tim says right there because I remember John Slarman being injured being hurt yeah. and no matter what the situation was he had a smile on his face and he was going to come to work. He was going to play with bad knees, bad shoulders, bad yep. It didn't matter what it was. Uh, John was going to get out there and he was going to go to battle with you. Uh, and I think what you see from the University of Kentucky's offensive line, they play exactly how John Slarman approached the game every single day. He might not have been the biggest, but he was the meanest. He might not have been in the fit, the most physical, but he was the nastiest that he could possibly be. Uh, and the way those guys play for him up front is exactly what you expect out of a group of offensive linemen that are coached by John Slarman. 